Hey, what's up, YouTube? Once again, man, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? So we're here with some more of the animals, House of the Rising Sun. Now, it's been requested, so we're going to be jumping into it. Um, I know I've heard this song in passing before, uh, House of the Rising Sun. I didn't know it was the animals that did it, and I've never sat down and actually listened to the song in its entirety. I know I've just heard it before, House of the Rising Sun. Um, I could think of some of it. Really don't know the song though, so let's go ahead and take a dive into this one. This will be my second Animals reaction on this channel. So after this, maybe we'll keep going into uh, more tracks, seeing where we go. But let's go ahead and take a dive into House of the Rising Sun. Get an understanding of what the song is even about and actually hear it uh, for once. So let's go ahead and see what's up.
I know in comparison to many videos, this video is pretty simplistic. And maybe that's the genius of it because it was amazing. It was so good to me that, I don't know, it's like, I reading Eric, uh, it's just like the body language of Eric Burdon right here, man. I don't know, it's... He's different than I thought he was, first of all. When I first uh, heard the other song by The Animals, I was thinking, like, he's got such a strong voice. I was almost thinking, like, a statue, um, hovering, mounting figure of a man. And he, uh, he's much smaller than I thought, but that's amazing because what a punch he packs, not only in his voice, um, but also just in his stature, in his uh, person, in his character. I mean, he's out here, and he is owning uh, this video with his voice. His look is almost, I don't know, man. It's almost like I can read a pain on his face, but a, det uh, a determination, a will to not back down. It was like the body language was everything for me from Eric right here. Uh, but the, the rest of the band, that organ solo, just one of the best right here on this track. Uh, House of the Rising Sun, I absolutely loved it. That riff, that riff uh, rhythm is so good. I don't know, everything just came together so good on this track. It's really nice, uh, but when I was double-checking, I, I want to make sure I didn't get Eric, uh, his name wrong, it seems like this song is actually pretty deep. It doesn't have an origin here with the animals. This is more of uh, a rendition, a, a cover, a tribute of the song, but it seems like its origins might kind of be lost. Let me double-check on that. So, uh... For the song, it says the House of the Rising Sun is a traditional folk song, sometimes called Rising Sun Blues. Okay. Uh, it tells of a person's life gone wrong in the city of New Orleans. Many versions also urge a sibling or parent and child uh, and children to avoid the same fate. The most successful commercial version recorded in 1964 by the British rock band The Animals was a number one hit on the UK singles chart and in the US and Canada as... It should be rightfully so. Uh, as a traditional folk song rec recorded by an electric rock band, it has been described as the first folk rock hit. Dang. Really? The first folk rock hit. Very cool. It says the song was first collected in Appalachia uh, in the 1930s, but probably has its roots in traditional English folk rock. It is listed as number 6,393 in the Rudd Folk Song Index. Dang, I need to jump into that index, man. If this is rated or numbered, okay, so not rated, but numbered, listed, um, maybe it's a collection in order, not necessarily a rating, but dang, over 6,000 songs in this index, man. There's probably a lot to get into on that. Uh, but here's the origins part. It says, like many folk songs, the house of the rising sun is of uncertain authorship okay musicologists say that it is based on the tradition of broadside ballads and thematically it has some resemblance to the 16th century ballad the unfortunate rake that'd be cool to dive into and do a little comparison yet there is no evidence suggesting that there is any direct relation the folk song collector alan lomax suggested that the melody might be related to the 17th century folk song lord bernard and the Little Musgrave, oh, and Little Musgrave, also known as Maddie Groves. But a survey by Bertrand Bronson showed no clear relationship between the two songs. So that is rather interesting, man. This song has some history. I mean, there's a lot of songs. It's just cut and clear. You know where it came from. This is like shrouded in mystery. I really like that. And not only is it shrouded in mystery, you could kind of go down the roots and try to make the connections that these musicologists and others have tried to make and take a listen and say, okay, I, I can see that or no, not at all. Very cool, man. I, I really like the mysticism almost with this track. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Let me know. Maybe you guys, uh, you guys usually do have a better understanding than I can gather in a couple minutes here to listening and, you know, sprouting, uh, browsing the web. So sometimes you guys just, man, you impress me with the amount of knowledge that you guys put into the comment sections and you just give me a whole new look. Uh, for instance, you know, I just did a David Bowie song, Space uh, Oddity, and I did not know that that was Mr. Uh, Wakeman on the keys contributing. And apparently he had contributed to, I don't know, over maybe 200 other songs or so prior to joining yes like those little nuggets of information i'm just like boom my head explodes i'm 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 a wowed <laughs> you guys just 
give me some good stuff so thank you for partaking man thank you so much for enjoying this ride with me it really is uh warms my heart it really does so appreciate it guys i do uh it takes a lot of work you know sitting here making these videos sometimes but it, oh man is it worth it uh just have the interactions i do with you guys so thank you so much for taking some time to be here with me so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh song right here man what what a what a i don't know cover of it i don't know if it, if that's considered a cover but what a recording done right here by these guys i think that was amazing really good stuff so uh look forward to getting more into the animals and eric uh, burden just crazy good crazy good that organ solo still is just like repeating in my head right now is that it was that impress uh that impressive i don't know i liked it a lot uh thank you guys so much for being here if you enjoyed please don't forget like subscribe check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can uh, help the channel please consider becoming a channel member or a patreon member that would be amazing with that being said i'm gone i'll see you on the next one all right peace